An unusual spotting in a Wapaka County Lake, a freshwater jellyfish. That's what was discovered last week in Spencer Lake, and Ryan Burke has more on this type of jellyfish and whether we need to be concerned. There's few places more peaceful than the shores of Spencer Lake in the fall, but don't let the quiet shoreline fool you because below the waterline lies an unexpected guest. It's one of just a few species in the world of freshwater jellyfish. The vast majority are in salt water. Uh, so it is very interesting and very unusual, and certainly people are interested in hearing that it was in Wapaka County. These out-of-place visitors have been in the U.S. since the 60s, when they somehow got here from China. While the thought of jellyfish might frighten some, researchers say you don't have to fear. They have no human health impacts. They do have stinging cells like any other jellyfish would, but those cells are not long enough or powerful enough to have any impact on a human. While the jellyfish may be a curiosity, it serves as a reminder that invasive species continue to impact local lakes. But with other, more problematic species to worry about, the jellyfish aren't top concern. We don't know of a way to control them, but it's also such a low priority because we, we have no reason to believe they're going to cause any negative impacts. So not much money or research has gone into figuring out how to get rid of them because they may not have any impact anyways. Now, Golden Sands tells me this is not the first time that freshwater jellyfish have been seen in our area. There have been sightings before in both Portage and Washera County. And while they don't pose much risk to the ecosystem, they say it's a trend they don't like to see continuing. If you spot a jellyfish in any Wisconsin lake, you can call Golden Sands Conservation.